Welcome back guys, one more time for some Comic Plays Octo Dad. I'm the Octo Comic. Let's play this Octo game, Medical Mess, our last short episode here for our bonus content. Looks like uh Tommy and Stacy uh, are gonna be telling Tommy, us a story here. What's the story about? Well, this is a story about Dad. That's and me. And he's in a wrestling ring. Yeah! Alright. Wrestle time. Uh, I thought I they no. at the hospital. Oh, did the nurse. wrestling go that bad? Okay. Uh, that's lame. Being a nurse is a fine he be profession. A no, Nurses work hard, nurse, man. He does nursey things. Yeah. Okay, uh, gotta get to a nurse's so station. Goes to the nurse station. Kind of wanted to wrestle somebody though. Actually, this sounds way more fun. So let's um, which way to the nursing station? This way. This way. This way. Hello, I am your fellow nurse. All right, and what do you find? Find the patient's records. Is that um, this? Is the patient record records? No, maybe uh, that. That looks fairly recordy. No, those just look like drawings that my kids maybe did. Um, maybe over here. No, they gotta be. They gotta be somewhere close, right? Patient's records. Patient. Oh, right, in a filing cabinet, of course. Okay, A, B. C, D, um, Nurse E, there we go. All the hey, there's nothing wrong with male nurses, all right? Oh, there's a bunch of different ones. Okay, this one is for 201, so let's go to 201. That's 205. 201 is over here, so this should get me in. And Dad met this one lady who was really nice. Good morning, Hi. Mr. Nurse. Good morning. If it's not too much trouble, would you mind fluffing my pillow and turning off the television? You don't have a remote for the TV? Okay. Um, wow, this is sort of trauma center music. All right, let's fluff this. Does this look fluffy enough? Fluff, fluff, fluff. There we go. There you go, and right back where pillows go. And let's turn the TV off. Um... There we go. That is very some off. Donuts from the waiting room, please. Here's some money to buy them. Oh sure. Um, I don't know if your diet allows you to have donuts, but hey, I'm just the nurse. Who am I to say? Waiting room. This looks like the waiting room. Let's. Uh. Oh wow. This hospitalicious. This vending machine has full-on donuts. That's an awesome vending machine. Let's get donuts. No donut. Don't don't. don't. Do not get something besides donuts. No! No! Yes! Um. Let's get. Nah. But now it's like all in the way. Crap. Okay, move that. Move. Oh no. Not the magazines. I don't think she'd enjoy that very much. Nobody likes the magazines in doctors' offices. Except for moms. Moms read those magazines. Um. Oh wow, I could totally just steal everything that's in here. I didn't have to pay any money. All right, here are some donuts, and oh, all the donuts are falling out. I gotta get, I gotta get this quick. We're losing donuts. Here you go. I hope you are not you diabetic. So much. Okay, gotta help other patients. Let's grab another clipboard. I'm just gonna pick randomly here. Um, and before I can pick randomly, I have to get over the desk. Let's just grab number... No, I don't need to make a call. I need to get patient number 205 here. Because it randomly was the closest one to me. Who's... Oh, little kid. Hospital kids are sad. Who was a jerk. Oh, no, it's a guy. Well, it's about time. Oh, yeah. My bottom hurts. Adjust my bed, nurse. That's because you're a pain in the ass. Okay, adjusting the bed, huh? Well, looks like you got lots of watermelon there. That's nice. Um... Let's, These uh, melon adjust. slices aren't just gonna Ed? jump into my mouth. Wow, really? Are your arms broken? Seriously, I didn't read your chart. Are your arms broken? Let's uh, give you some. Oh no, I'm I'm grabbing the melon. I should probably grab the fork. There we go. Um, wow. Eat your melon. Eat your eat your melon. And don't sit like that. I can see right up your mm. your nightgown. Um, grab. Crab melon. What if I move a little bit closer? That should help. Eat your. Why are you turning away all like that? Eat your god dang melon. Your anagram of lemon. 
Mm, mm. Eat it. Oh, I'm bored. Give me a book. Okay. Um, can I get you a fork to your stomach? There we go. It's nice and uh, punctured in there. Get a book. I saw I saw some books in the waiting room. Well, uh, we can do that. Oh, no. Can't seem to get through here now. Okay, we need a book from somewhere else. Let's get a book from... Maybe from the waiting desk. Uh, none of these look like they have books. Can I get... Are those limes? Is that drawer full of limes? Yeah, it's a... It's a little green thing. This is a lime! Why is there a lime? Why is there a lime in the filing cabinet? Okay. Uh, can I get you a patience clipboard? How, how about that? Wh which one is this? 203. Let's let, let's check out 203 for a second. Let's see how and you're then doing. Dad met a patient who was sad and weird. It's bad, isn't it? Oh no! Oh no! Is it Chaz? Leforia? The Macarena? You better check my blood pressure to find out. <laughs> okay. Bit of a uh, hypochondriac, or is it a hypochondriac? No, hypochondriac. So I just, <laughs> I'm just mashing A here. Gotta fill the pressure meter. Is that how it works? Is that how? Oh, what about I, I guess that's how you do that. Okay, all right. Whatever makes you happy. Good thing there's a flashlight in here. Um, have this plant. Plants are very healing. They produce oxygen. Maybe you just need more oxygen. Let's just there. Uh, looking in your eyes. Am I blinking enough? I feel like I'm not blinking enough. What is it? Oh, give it to me straight, nurse. I really like your accent. Uh, can you show me on the whiteboard? Sure. Let's just, um... Uh... Yeah, there you go. So your head is, like, up here. Oh, and your I butt see. is down I here. Unicornitis. You weren't even looking at the whiteboard. Have impeccable bedside manner. Oh, well, that's not so bad. Thanks, nurse. Away! As everyone knows, people afflicted with unicornitis can fly. Not bad. Okay, so I still need to find a book for you. Where, where am I? Where am I supposed to find a book? I don't. You don't. You don't need this, do you? It's not important. Um, no, I'm a little. It's important that I don't get stuck to things like that. So let's, uh... Yeah. I mean, it's telling me if you're alive or not, but I just realized I don't really care. How about down here? Here... Oh, wait. Maybe that's not the waiting room. Maybe that's the operating room or somewhere else. Yeah, I think this way is the waiting room. There we go! There are books in here! That's the problem. I'll just take the whole table and he can decide what he wants. Now I'll take this. I'm glad that door bends both ways. Wouldn't want to navigate around that otherwise. Okay, 205. Here is your My book. IP looks low. Change it already. Change it. Change it. Where do I get more IVs? Here we go. Okay, at least I don't have to go very far. Uh, I've been working a 12-hour shift and I have to deal with this guy. I helped most of my patients. There we go. I sure did. And there's flowers. Oh, no. Yes, hello. Good. Okay, good. It rematerialized there. Let's, um, I have a call. Is Dad's long -lost brother. <gasps> My brother! Dad, it's your long-lost brother. I've got terrible hey. news for you. One of your patients is going into cardiac arrest. Oh, thanks. Patient thanks for letting me know. In room 205. Oh, no, it's that guy. I, oh, wow. Well, maybe you shouldn't have been such a jerk. Get patient on a gurney. Where's a gurney? Oh, no, I just... Uh, he does not look like he's in good shape. Alright, come on, jerk patient. Let's get you to the gurney. Where where is the gurney? Where There's the IV. Is that is that gonna help? Do you need the IV? Go ahead, just take a big drink of this. No, where where's the IV? Where's the No, this is the waiting room. It's probably not in here. Maybe the patient just needs some snacks. There you go. Snacks. Eat some snacks. Eat the snacks. Go, go, eat the, eat the friggin' snacks. Do you, do you know what's wrong with him? Cardiac arrest? Maybe he just needs to enjoy the art. Art is fulfilling for the heart. Now let's, let's find your gurney, you big wuss. 
Where is the gurney? I am on a journey for the gurney. Um, well, that's that's his bed. That's not the gurney. That's um. You can turn that off now. I know. Oh, this is the gurney. Wait, what's the flaps? I don't know. It's one of those hospitaly things they say on TV. Okay. It sounds let's, illegal. Um, uh, let's. Oh wow, that's a nice um one singular sensation. Any other step she takes. Let's, uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You might break some bones. Bones are overrated. I don't have bones, and I do just fine. Let's get you, let's get you to some medical professionals. Some more, wow, my arm is really long there. Let's, uh, get around here. You know, I think I was doing better just, like, picking him up and carrying him. I could have had him there by now. Okay, we'll go around. I don't think taking him behind the desk is gonna work very well. Move! Move! This is a matter of life or death! Also a matter of my career. Please, please, I need this job. I need this imaginary job. My kids think this is a really good story. You're ruining it. Will you... Okay, no, seriously. Will you move? I seriously need you to move. I... Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You do not care about this man's life, do you? You... Give me your badge number. Give me your... I'm gonna have everybody... Everybody's gonna know how... Look what you did. You broke the gurney. It's all upside down now. Let's just... Let's just get him to the prep room this but way. suddenly, Dad faced a most fearsome challenge. Good thing there was a crowbar there. To crowbar the door open. Oh, okay. See, I can get through because I am an Octodad. You think they're telling the story after they found out that I'm actually an octopus? I'm really glad my family accepts me. All right, good, and pull, pull. Oh, no, I'm not grabbing in. I'm grabbing the guy. There we go. See, I will crow any bar for you. That's just the kind of nurse I am. Maybe I can get promoted to doctor. Let's get you prepped. Is this, is this not the prep room? No, this looks like not the prep room. He does not look prepared. Which one's the prep room? Okay, this is the prep room. Well, I think that you're a waste. Aw, oh, that's mean. Okay, fine. Um, maybe in here. Oh no, I need to I need to wash my hands. There's the problem. Okay. Throw him. Get him out of the way. I'm only throwing you because I'm trying to hurry. I there's apples in there because they keep the doctors away. Good, because this is a job for a nurse. Give him anesthesia. Uh give him a scalpel. Nope, there's the anesthesia. There you go. You won't feel a thing. Let's just... There you go. And get him on the ORT table. I know, the OR table. Am I... Do I have anesthesia? Get... Wait, get out of me. Get out of me. There you go. I had to pull it out of my arm. Um, get him on the operating room table. This is the operating room. I didn't know what OR stands for. I was just being facetious before. Alright, is that... No? Is this not good enough? Is this not on the table enough? Is this not the operating room table? There we go. Good enough. Uh, page Dr. Nigel. Uh, Dr. Nigel thinks he's so great. I could, I could do this in my sleep. Yeah. That's his number. Yeah! Oh. Okay, um... Ni oh, Joe. Joe? Stop Why does everybody think I'm Joe? Paging Dr. Nigel. Dr. There Nigel we go. to the operating room. There we go. Okay. Where are you, Dr. Ni waiting for Dr. Nigel? Here he comes. And then the doctor came in. Yeah! And he was famous. His name was Nigel. Okay, so can you they like knew that before like, the story knew that before the narrator said it. That's that's different. Oh, no. Is this 205's wife watching nervously out here? Don't worry. I'll save him. I care about you. I don't care about him, but I care about you. I want you to be happy. Let's get an x-ray machine in here. There we go. Let's, uh, X the heck out of his rays. Uh, and boop. No. Ah, uh, no. Okay, there's a big red button. I gotta just push big red button. 
that, um, I don't think he's getting x-rayed enough here. Maybe I need to move it a little closer. Uh, Dr. Nigel, do you, do you mind? You're a little in the way. There, that's enough of an x-ray. Bring Dr. Nigel a scalpel. Good. Good, fine. Uh, there, there was a scalpel in here, I remember. There it is. Got it. Here you go. I'll... Um, sorry, I'm being a bit of a waste here. Let's just get around here. No, get off. Get off! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my. I am quite stuck. I am quite stuck. Um, this might be another one of those start over moments for me. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, we're back. Let's try this again. That is like, what, the third or fourth time that I've had to restart the game through this entire, um, through this entire Let's Play, I guess? That's less than I thought. Though, I took a couple hours off, um, since, like, before that cut, so this patient is definitely dead. Here, have a scalpel, Doctor. I'm sorry, my energy is going to be a little bit different here. Now, bring Nigel a bone saw. Why are all the tools in the next room? They should be right where you're Why doing the surgery. Why bone saw? I don't know, in a box somewhere? Um, okay, so my kid narrators just brought it into existence. I didn't, I didn't think that would be something they would need to specify. The box here seems to be the glitchiest object in this game. I got my arm stuck in it for a second there. I don't know if you noticed. All right, that X-ray is shooting all sorts of radiation oh, around the room. It was time for surgery. I'm just gonna move and that out of the way. Some guts. Oh, I have to do Hello, surgery? Stacey. Dad grounded me for a week after my last story. <laughs> I really wonder what my... Uh, was pretty zombie hurt? I want to hear that story. My yeah, make that a make that a playable mission. Oh, so it Oh, okay. So this keeps this nice and PG rated. So now the surgery can be All right, we got some surgeon simulator. Um I guess I'm going to start with the scalpel. I thought I thought you were supposed to be doing the surgery, doctor. There you go. Oh, he is. I just got to hand him things. Okay, open the chest plate. There we go. Uh you don't you don't need that. We'll get back to that later. Yeah, just kind of uh, run that around through there. Clear the chest cavity. All right, let's get that clear. Let's. Um, we need to get to the heart. This is a heart condition, right? Let's just get all these pieces out of there. Not your hand. I mean, I'll hold your robot hand if, if like you need, if you know, for moral support. You know, I understand you're very scared, though I don't think you are because you are unconscious. Uh, did I just say unconscious? You are unconscious, and you are powered down. All right, cleared. All right, it's gonna be okay. Oh, I gotta wipe Nigel's forehead. Okay, Dr. Nigel, I got, um... Oh, no! Drop the paper towels. Oh, that's so important, though. Okay, they're just in reach. Here you go, sir. Here you go. Forehead wipe. Robot with a broken heart. Oh, no! Oh no! Um, I gotta. Oh, I gotta catch the heart. Okay, let's um, let's just get it back here. It's throwing syringes at me. Where where is it? It's okay. I couldn't see it by the table. Uh, get back here. Get back here. Oh, I need to capture this heart. Got it. All right. Um, it's okay. It's gonna be okay. Let's give the heart to Nigel. There we go. All right, King, these are some dumb hearts. Attach robot's limbs back. Okay, this is... Oh, we had one of them. This is um, his one arm. Good. Uh, I'm glad he can kind of rematerialize himself a little bit, a la, um, like, the Iron Giant from the movie The Iron Giant, not to be confused with the Iron Giant from Ready Player One, which is a very different kind of character. I, I understand... People are really mad at that because the whole thing with the Iron Giant is I am not a gun. And then they like have him shooting lasers all over the place in Ready Player One. Um, I'm not super into seeing that movie, but I do kind of understand that like Ready Player One is like a giant like 
online Gary's Mod community, though. Like, that's not the Iron Giant that's, like, an Iron Giant that somebody made as their avatar, and they want theirs to have lasers. Um, which is something I could totally see somebody in an online community doing, you know? So it's just, like, some dude completely missed the point of that movie. It's not that the movie did, but, you know, whatever. Where's your other arm? You seem to be disarmed. I think your heart threw it, like, all over the place. Um, Dr. Nigel, I don't know where... I, I, I don't know what happened to his other arm. I, I know I need to reattach it, but I have no idea where it is. Uh, here's his, um, robo ribs. Is it a spine? No, I think it's a rib cage. It's like a rib cage plate. Okay, there's the battery, there's a clipboard, there... I... This is really bad. I'm missing one of his limbs. What kind of doctor misplaces a limb? Um, I'm a terrible nurse. I think I, yeah, I did see it in here. Let's just get this defibrillator out of the way or breathing machine. All right. And here you go. All right. This will not cost you an arm and a leg. Might cost you your chest cavity, though. Not a robot anymore. Good. Good. That was very nice and G. Defibrillate. Okay, I need this. Oh, he's freaking out. I'm glad this is not time sensitive. Um, okay. Let's, uh... Um, the, the charger is stuck underneath the defibrillator. I'm having f trouble saying defibrillator here. Good. Up, oh, shock him again. He needs more. He needs more. Ah, oh, keeps getting stuck. Why doesn't this defibrillator have a longer cord? Again. Stay with me. Stay with me. All right. And every good surgery has to end with a high five. If it didn't end with a high five, it wasn't a very good surgery. Oh yeah, I forgot he was famous. I right, kept that out of the way. Oh, I got a low five him. Of course. Um, sorry, the defibrillator is trying to leave you hanging, but I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm glad he doesn't do a, like, too uh, slow. Device. And, oh, pound it. Oh, I pounded it while I was low fiving. That's how good I am. All right, patient needs to go back in the wheelchair. He's still unconscious. Uh, unconscious. I keep saying unconscious. He's still unconscious. Shouldn't he stay on the stretcher or on the bed? I mean, at this point, I might as well just carry him back to the room like this. All right, and get in there. And the not a robot anymore patient back to his room Good. Safely. Very good. And maybe, I, I guess we're bringing the defibrillator just in case. All right, come on. Come on. Yeah, just in case I need to shock you again, we're bringing the defibrillator. Nope, we're leaving it there. Okay. Oh, oh there's the crowbar, of course. Um, I'm glad people generally, like, aren't suspecting me of being an octopus in this, uh in this made-up fantasy world that my kids came up with. You were in room 205, right? All right. You are... Man, you're heavy. Or we need to fix the wheels on this wheelchair. Uh, there you go. You don't get a bed in your room anymore. You're just gonna be sleeping in this chair for now. All right. There. He's in his room. But Dad got unicornitis. Oh, no! alien lady, and the only cure for unicornitis is... jet skis. So he bought us some sweet jet skis! <laughs> they have the robot. I like the picture that they were drawn too. Alright, that's... That's it. That's... That's about as good of an ending as I could have ever imagined that section having. So that gives us the... Complete Octodad experience. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for looking at this fiery wreckage here on the... Uh, on the main screen. This is a weird... It's really weird that this is the main title screen. I know it's the last chapter of the story mode, but, like, I don't know. I would have expected some kind of, like, nicer thing for once you cleared the game. Now it just kind of looks like Octodad has brought unholy vengeance onto that, uh, aquarium cafeteria but anyway i'm the comic foil thank you for joining me for every last inky ounce that i could squeeze out of this octo game uh next time i'm going to be playing uh for my solo games uh something i've been planning for a really long time i kept talking about it especially on twitter 
it's going to be a lot less uh, fun and fancy free as Octodad is. So, I don't know. I I'm sure some of you will enjoy it, some of you guys uh, less so, but I don't know. Hopefully I'll enjoy it. And until then, I also got uh, the Uncharted game still going with Pad. I also, also have Skies of Arcadia going with Oscar. Oscar and I are planning another thing on this channel also. And, um, yeah, there's no shortage of comic foil stuff for you to watch. So go watch some of it. You know, if you have the time, I would appreciate it. And tell your friends. I need more, I, I need more subscribers. Anyway, this has been the, uh, comic foil. And, yeah, next time... Be afraid. Be very afraid.